Hello friends, in this video I'm going to look inside the Inertia server-side rendering and for that I have created a new Flash Laravel application and I have installed the Inertia and Vue 3. Okay, and here is the welcome page. Just we have the H tag, H1 tag with Inertia SSR and the paragraph with test SSR. So if I open the the welcome inside the pages is the welcome view. And also in the roads, I just return this uh, welcome. Okay, now if I refresh and also I'm going to go and run npm run watch. So you can see we are up and running. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to refresh again and view page source. Right now we have in the div, we have only the div with ID up and we close this div. Okay. We don't have server side rendering here. Good. Now I'm going to install the server rendered for this. Okay. Copy the NPM. Go here and paste that npm install view server render next install the inertia server okay paste that in next we need to create a file ssr.js inside the resources js so for that i'm going to create with that command and now if I go inside the JS we have the ssr.js and inside there we need to add this uh, code here so we import create ssr app from view and render the string from view server render also create inertia app and create server from inertia server is similar to the app.js okay so save this go back and npm install webpack not externals copy go here paste and enter and also we need to create one more file now copy this command okay paste that in good and inside there we need to add this code so inside the server webpack ssr mix we need to pass that in save close that And we have this inertia head in the web, in the app blade. Yeah, we have added. Okay. Run the, this command. Good. Now inside the uh, config. We have inertia here and we have SSR enabled. We need to change the true. Save. Close this. Okay, so change this to true. Good. Now we need to run the NPM, NPX mix and NPX mix for the SSR. So first run this. Next, good, run the SSR mix.
Okay. Now we need to run the node to the public JS SSR JS. Hit enter. Okay. Go to the application refresh. Nothing happened if I open now the view page source. You see here we have the div, which is the div we have inside the where is this pages and welcome. So we have the div. After the div we have h1 tag and p tag. So we have the div here. After the div we have the h1 tag. And after the h1 we have the p tag. Okay, we have server side rendering. And uh, if I make some changes here, for example, say uh, h2 is working, it's save. Now we need the if I refresh and open, we have the same thing, but we need to run again the... Okay, you see, we don't have now, it's working. Because here, I'm going to close first and run again the NPM. So, NPX mix and NPX mix. Uh, for SSR or I'm going to copy this command so and open the JSON package okay, is JSON and when we have the production I'm going to add it after here okay just we need to change now first remove that and change this to be SSR and I'm going to remove the production and the production here. Hit save and go and run now npm run SSR and it's going to do the same thing. Okay. So we created the uh, app.js and ssr.js. Now run the node. Go to the browser. Refresh. Now we have this working. And also if I open the view page source, we have the div h1. And also the h2 is working. Okay, friends. That's it, how easy is that server-side rendering with uh, Inertia right now. Thank you, the Inertia team, for creating this. Hope you enjoy, friends. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and see you in the next one. All the best.